As part of this lab, you will be looking at two different scenarios of earthquakes, um, different fault types. And so what we have is what's called the earthquake machine. We've got this board. It has sandpaper. It's pretty rough on the bottom here. Underneath the brick, there is also sandpaper. And so that's our friction to hold this in place. We have a spring scale, and this simulates energy release. So as we build up stress with the crank, that energy gets higher and higher. And at some point, which we call the yield point, it can no longer take it, and so it slides. The other thing we have here is a meter stick. And we have centimeters on this side, inches on this side. But this is going to measure the offset. So what you're going to do is record how many times the crank clicks, which you can tell by listening. You're going to record how high the scale got, and then its ending position, and the offset. So you're going to need to record this, this, and the number of cranks. Okay? So, let's start cranking. Okay, so we just had an earthquake. Not very exciting, but um, our offset is two centimeters. That says 20, but that's in millimeters. That's the equivalent of two centimeters. Um, our final resting energy, we're looking in grams, not in newtons, is 340. Okay, and then hopefully you counted the cranks. There were 11 cranks. 11 cranks. And hopefully you caught the, the high point of spring scale. Do it again. So that was about 10 and a half. It sounds weird to say half, but it was about 10 and a half. And now we're at four centimeters. Our ending stress is about 390 and that was ten and a half cranks. Hopefully you got the highest stress. Okay, every time. I think the first time was good. <coughs> earthquake that just came on my app. <laughs> so here's where we are now. You're ending stress. And then hopefully you counted your cranks. <laughs>